Hey there guys, we've done the Grace of Darkness and the Grace of Flame with Rick. Now it's time for the Grace of Lightning. So let's get in here and do another quick clear, 20 turns or less. We're going to be doing a lot less. We're going to be taking a, um, a Rick friend, of course, and a Thunder Party. Once again, Rick for the damage, Ace for the leader skill. This time, Angeal will be the breaker and the killer buffer. In peril field with Secura, and then Sylvie for overall Thunder support. Now, this one's gonna be a tiny bit slower. We're gonna be a five turn clear in total, and you'll see why in just a moment. So, to start off, we're going to have Secura do the Ramu field, we're gonna have Angeal do Break and in peril, Machine Killer, and then who cares? Uh, Ace will LB, Rick will shift at LB, other Rick will shift at LB. And we're going to use Sylvie to put up offense and a bolt egg. So wait for this to finish, then we're going to send Ace, wait just a moment, then we're going to send our Ricks, and that should be the end of the first phase. Turn one OTK, not a problem. These first fights are usually pretty easy. Now the bulkiness goes up dramatically. So these next two fights are both going to be a two-turn clear. So the all-door defense system is going to counterattack and all that. So because we're not turn one killing it, we're going to have to do it this way. Sylvie is going to triple. We're going to offense. We're going to defense for the Mirage because there is some AoE physical. And then we're going to compassionate for the stop immunity. We can just reload Angeal, he's going to do breaks and perils, um, machine killer. And then Secura on this turn will do Imbue. We're going to do the ramping amp on mine and then status reset for the status immunity. <clears throat> then we burst. So Ace goes and then we send the Ricks and deal some damage. We're going to push the threshold so the boss is not going to be super dangerous, but we didn't quite OTK. So here's the counter attack. We guts the counter, no big deal. And now here's the normal turn. AoE stop, AoE physical, AoE in peril. Not a big deal, we're fine. So in order to burst again, we're gonna shift Sylvie and we're gonna triple Clever. That'll fill 30 LB gauge for the party. We're gonna shift Secura and we're gonna Fortification, which is another 30 LB gauge fill. And Angeal can just hang out for the moment. So again, we're gonna burst. So Ace will go first, wait just a moment, then we send the Ricks. And that is the end of the defense system. Now we go into the Chaotic Darkness thing. Um, again, the Chaotic Darkness on turn one puts up Mighty Guard, which makes the fight obnoxious. But if you push the 50% threshold on turn one, he will not Mighty Guard. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to now have Angeal do the same thing. Breaks and Perils Machine Killer. We're going to have Sylvie do offense actually before we do that yeah yeah sylvie is going to do offense then we're going to do ramping thunder amplify then nothing else really matters honestly we can just clever we're going to wait on secura so we're going to chain the slb of ace as well as the uh, lbs of rick and push below 50. Almost OTK'd, and if we had powerful enough Ricks, maybe we could turn one kill this, but I tried once or twice, it wasn't really that close. So about 18-ish percent is the usual. So we did push the threshold, which is going to be a multi-hit meteor, but of course we can Nethocyte it. So with Nethocyte, the boss basically does meteor, which gets Nethocyted, and then nothing else happens. No mighty guard because we pushed that threshold, which means we can now kill the boss. So Sylvie will once again triple Clever, and we're going to Fortification on Secura. That'll refill our LB gauges, and then Angeal, if you really want to get serious, we could do... Um, actually, his, his buff is not available, we're not going to do it. So Ace will do his LB, and then we cap it, or we chain with Ricks, and there is the end of the trial. One, two, and two turns. So we did all missions. And then the gear. So Secura, the gear is just mana reduction, um, Esperfill, and then a source of Nethocyte for the, the threshold. And that's kind of it. Angeal, just a source of Guts. Oh yeah, we have Guts on Secura as well. Guts, mana reduction, some LB. Actually, LB feels not even important, so ignore that. Just mana reduction and Guts. All that really matters. 
Sylvie, again, mana reduction and guts. Nothing else really matters. A little bit of Esperfill, and there we go. And then the the ace, LB damage versus machines, which he caps on just innately a source of guts. And there we go. And then Rick, a, um, he has guts naturally, so just LB damage versus machines. And then here is the friend Rick. Pretty much the same thing. And yeah, there was our turn one, two, and two clear on the Grace of Lightning. Very soon we should be getting the Grace of Wind. And we'll be doing the same thing on the Grace of Wind. We'll be doing like a 1-1-1 one, 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 or a 1-2-2 two, two, or 2-2-2 two, 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 turn clear. In any case, the Grace of Wind trial will again be very, very simple with a Ricked party. So here's the breakdown. Of course, Ricked is the big boy damage. Ace is basically just a leader skill. Um, Sylvie is buffing, Angeo is breaking, and Sakura is a uh, field. And there it is. There is all three of the Grace Trials done in five turns or less um, with Rikt. Grace of Wind should be coming very soon, and Rikt will easily crush that one as well. So, see you when it comes out. Later.